So you clicked on this video because you're looking to see how I build my lower body at home. Well, stay tuned my friend because in today's video I'm going to show you how I do exactly that. Right, what's crack my friend, how are you doing today? Wait, this is a bit awkward from this angle, isn't it, Alfie? Much better. For my subscribers who are back here again and are constantly giving me ongoing support on a regular basis, welcome back to the channel, my friend. It's so good to see you back on the other side of the camera, even though I can't actually see you. But anyway, on the other hand, though, if you are non, if you are a non-subscriber and that subscribe button doesn't say subscribe, duh. You're missing out, my friend, and to compensate, you should subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because every single video I make for you on this channel, if you're new to body training, calisthenics are dedicated specifically for people like you. Oh, fuck, so camera's about to die. Bear with me. Sorted. Right, but anyway, there's not much more I have to say. Let's just get right into the workout. Right, starting up with some 10 minutes of basic animal flow and locomotion really mobilizing those knees those hips and those ankles and like i said in my previous video my upper body workout i highly suggest to actually experiment experiments with some animal flow because your mobility is going to go up a whole nother level and it's pretty fun too and so after this oh airplane what plane why are you coming over my house when i'm filming when i'm doing a commentary mate and so after that i do some warm-up sets and now i'm into my first working set of elevated hamstring bridges. And as I bring my arms in, this places a lot more load on the hamstrings and the glutes because there's no stability to help them out. All the emphasis is placed on those glutes and hamstrings, the hamstrings especially. And then I superset this with some Bulgarian split squats, focusing on that eccentric increase in muscle damage. Also healthy and nice for the joints and the connected tissue and the tendons and before my knee experts comment down below you know, jake your knees go past your toes you're going to fuck up your knees your knees must hurt you so much uh no they actually don't because um genetically wise if that's even a term uh i was born with long femurs right so, with that said, uh, I cannot really control the fact that my knees go past my toes when I squat because that's basically the way my legs are structured, right? And so, uh, with that said, I mean, my physio said it's all fine. It's just as long as you, you squat properly like anyone else should. And so, um, what that basically means is really making sure that you shift your weight back on your heels and pushing out for the heels rather than coming in and uh, leaning forward and pressing through the toes. That wouldn't be good for the knees. Whereas uh, as I squat properly, I don't actually have any knee issues. So yeah, rant's over and we're going to finish this set, really push out that extra rep and we're going to move on to the next superset. And so starting up with some step ups using as little assistance from the rear leg as possible. And seriously, no matter how strong you think you are, the less assistance you use from the rear leg, my word, this exercise just, it just never gets easy, right? It's also a great way to load up the quads and the adductors. And again, when you actually bring your arms in, there's now, um, it places even more load on the legs because there's more, there's, um, there's less stability for them, right? So they have to work harder to overcome the greater resistance. And so, superset that with hamstring bridges again but this time flat on the floor and focusing on that eccentric which is very good for the hamstrings um, especially if you are an athlete because most hamstring in injuries come from weak hamstrings in that eccentric portion and so yeah um, don't know if you care about that or not but it's also great for hypertrophy reasons because it increases muscle damage which is one factor of muscle hypertrophy so it's a win-win for everyone eh and now we are here on I'm pretty sure this is the third set three of three on my stronger leg as I am that I'm just strong on my left leg I don't know where I'm getting at here and then after that again super set and we are doing those hamstring bridges, really focusing on pulling in with the heels 
rather than pressing out. That's one good thing when you are dorsiflexed and your toes aren't actually in contact with the floor because it really helps you focus on those hamstrings as opposed to shifting more weight um, elsewhere. And here we are now working the core. Start with the anterior side of the core with some hanging knee raises. And we're actually doing our hanging knee raises right here. No momentum, no kipping, not using the hips by pushing back. We are pulling in with those abs, baby. We are focusing as much as possible on that core tension. And I'm actually really excited to be doing hanging knee raises again because when I had my elbow injury, I couldn't really do much hanging because it bloody hurt. Whereas now, it's all good. And now we are doing the posterior core with some arch body holds. We are going to fire up that back, those glutes, those hamstrings. And this is a great exercise. There's a lot of benefits you get from just this one exercise alone. And yeah, just hold for time and squeeze, baby, squeeze. And then we didn't record set two. Actually, no, this was this set two or set three? It doesn't matter, but all we gotta do is that as long, although we are pushing ourselves, we gotta keep that form tight especially with hanging knee raises. It's very easy to kip, it's very easy to push back, it's very easy to pull more of the lats, but not here. We are putting all that emphasis, all that tension on that core, baby. And again, we're going back to the arch body. We're really fatiguing here. Oh boy, come on, Jake. Come on, Jake, hold it, son. Hold it, come on, come on. Come on, mate, you've got to get up to 60 seconds. Come on, come on, mate. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You, oh, you, oh, you. You're so fucking weak. But anyway, now we are moving on to some accessory work, which I found is very beneficial as you advance more in strength wise when it comes to body weight training with some hamstring curls, which is great for me because naturally my hamstrings are just weak as shit. Um, but yeah, this is also a great unilateral move to focus on both sides because in the past when I played football uh, I tend to if I injured my hamstring it was always the right side and so naturally my right side is weaker and so yeah it's great to you know balance things out and here we are doing some uh, what are they called they're called fire hydrants which is great for the glutes and the glute medius and also the abductors which is very beneficial if you are squatting on one leg and you are experiencing knee cave one likely reason is because the uh, hip abductors are weak and so if you want to solve that you can do this exercise at the end of your workouts and this little accessory work is going to benefit you a ton as it has done so for myself so you can yeah you can uh, hop on the gains train too let's go my friend and wait, hang on, as we finish the workout, we gotta get a thumbnail, come on. Uh, no, no, that, that's not good enough. Yes, that's what we like, love it. And yeah, that's about it really. That is the workout, nothing more, nothing less. It's not about working harder, it's about working harder and working smarter. That is how you're gonna truly see maximal results, my friend. And so as I said, if you like this video, you enjoy my content, you enjoyed watching every single second of this video, make sure to like the video and comment down below that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of these workout related videos, then leave down in the comment section below so I know what to post for you. But you may be watching this video and be like, Jake, you know, it's great. I mean, it's great you're working on that, but I just can't do it myself. I just can't remain consistent. I mean, I'm motivated to work out one day and then I'm not the next day and then it's just, I'm spinning my wheels. You know, I can understand my friend, which is exactly why I have a free ebook waiting for you over at my website, also known as the five step formula to infinite motivation. Wave goodbye to your excuses and say hello to rapid results by implementing the most effective strategies to do so. And without these sacred principles, you will inevitably fail my friend, which I don't want to be happening to. So with that said, I'll leave it down in the description down below so you can pick up your free copy today to gain the results you deserve. So as I'll leave you with that to enjoy, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, stay beautiful.